Hi guys, welcome back to Ishan's Music Camp at Chromeworks. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple one octave piano on Scratch. So since we're going to make a black and white piano, we're going to go to Backdrops and then go to its costumes and then we're going to make a rectangle. And I want that rectangle to be something other than black or white since so that it wouldn't blend in. So I'm going to make this a bright red color. All right, there we go. Our next step is to make the keys. So we're going to go back to our sprite and we're going to select this cat and delete it since we're not going to be needing any cats on our piano. We're going to take this rectangle and change it to a white color and then create a rectangle from there. There we go. You might want to make it bigger though. There. Instead of making rectangles and trying to make them the same size, you could just right click on this sprite and duplicate. And there you have your second note. Remember naming conventions are important. So you want to start off by naming your conventions. So this note would be a C since we're starting off with C and then the next note would be a D and then so on. Keep doing this till you have eight white notes or eight white keys on your thing like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Once you have your eight white keys you want to arrange them in a way that looks like they're almost touching each other but not exactly. So we're going to go here and we're going to keep arranging them so that they look like an actual piano. Remember to keep your notes in order as your sprite, your naming convention state. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. This one's named C2 since there's two C's, one at the beginning and one at the end. So we're going to keep doing this. And there we go. Now you want to make the black sprites or the, the black notes. So the black notes we have are C sharp. You could have a piano layout in front of you, but the black notes are C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B flat, and that should be it. So we're going to go to our sprites and we're gonna, oops, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna press paint. So now we have a new sprite and we're gonna make a black rectangle now. Make sure your black rectangle isn't bigger than your white rectangles. Because black notes are usually smaller than the white notes. There you go. And now you keep arranging your black notes as it should be. So C sharp should be here. D sharp should be here. This is E. This is F. F sharp should be here. G sharp should be here. B flat should be here. This is B. And then you're back to C. Don't forget your name at conventions. So when you do here, you go C. And then you press hashtag. So shift three, which gives you that hashtag. And there you have that. Once you've laid out your piano semi nicely like I did, we're gonna start making the sounds and the notes. So we're gonna go back to our first sprite and we're gonna go to down here to more blocks and it says add extension. So we're gonna click on it and we're gonna play music since we're not doing any of the others we're going to press music and now you have a new section where you have a bunch of music blocks so since we're going to have to make an event for this we're going to 
we're gonna make two different events. We're gonna make we're gonna make it so that it'll play a note when the sprite is clicked and also when a certain key is pressed. So we'll make this scroll down to one and when this sprite is clicked. So we're gonna go back down to music. I'm gonna pick this one which says play note and then a number for how many beats. So we're gonna bring this here and we're gonna bring this here too. We're gonna keep repeating this for all the notes. As you can see, these numbers here specify, this number specifies the tone or the pitch, which note is playing, and this one specifies how long it's playing for. We're not gonna worry about how long it's playing for at the moment, but we are gonna do this. So this one is at C, so it'll be fine. This too. But when you keep adding more, you're gonna have to change it to 61 and so on. So we're gonna bring the others down again when this sprite's clicked, when space key is pressed. And we're gonna play note and add this here. Over here, we don't want it to be spaced since our first, since it was one over at C, I'm gonna change this to two. There you go. And we also don't want the same note to be played as C. So we're gonna click on here. And it's nice that they have a piano layout for us or else we'd have to memorize the note numbers. So this will be 62. 62 and then you just do this so on for every other white note once you have all of those set up you want to start doing the black black keys for for the black keys you realize that you can't really put a number on them or any other letter on the keyboard since there's nothing above the numbers except for the F1s, F2s, but Scratch doesn't have the option for that. So we're just gonna forget about the numbers and we're just going to do when this sprite's clicked. So when this sprite's clicked, I'm gonna go back down to music and then play note. Since this is a C sharp, we're gonna pick the C sharp on the piano and then just, just that. And you just repeat this for all the other black notes. There you go. And then just keep repeating that. Now that we have all of the notes, we're gonna test out our keys, so by pressing on them. So, so now that we have that, Now that we have that, we're going to make sure that people know that when this key is pressed, that we're just going to, we're going to, that note's going to be played. So we're going back to C. When the number one key is pressed, C is going to play. So we're going to go back to the C's costume. We're going to click on text, click on here, and just put a one. And you want to do this for every white note, since none of the black notes have keys to do with them. So we're going to go to D. And you want to position them accordingly so it looks semi-decent. And keep doing this for all the white notes. Now that we have all of these notes here, it lets the player know that if one is pressed, it plays a C and so on. So to test this out, I'll play a simple melody that comes to my head. There we 
you go. If you hold a note, it keeps playing the note like that. Same with the other notes. And there we have it. That's your first functioning piano on Scratch. This looks a little bland, so you can go and either change the backdrop to, to fit the piano, or you can make some kind of design rotating or that's around the piano. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. I went ahead and made a blue rectangle on the backdrop so it shows in the background and doesn't cover all the sprites. And this is what I have so far. So now we want to label our piano. We'll make this something that's not the same color. So let's make our label green. So we'll click on here and we'll name this My Piano. Oh, well, that, that might be a bit hard to see. So we're going to switch it to, let's say, purple. And we'll change the font to, let's see, here. And you can make it bigger until it looks, it fits right in. And we'll add another label up here saying Chromeworks presents And we can make this a different font. Let's see. There you go. And there we have it. If you go, if you zoom in to the view, it'll look like this. Chromeworks presents Ishan's Music Camp, and then it shows your piano. So congratulations. Now that you've made your first piano, you could play around more with the music blocks and find out more stuff like there's drums which we might cover later there's rests and there's set tempos if you're actually going to play if the music's going to be be playing at the same time look through the music blocks play around with them and if you would like more Ishan's music camp or chromeworks content make sure to like the video or live stream and click the big red subscribe button. Thank you, and see you next time.